couples of reddit what was your she's the one moment when she made a fruit tart for me i remember looking down at it feeling myself getting glassy eyed thinking those exact words we were together for around two years at that point in my head i'm seeing gender bent zuko and may from matla my he's the one moment when he invited me to a party his friends were hosting to meet all his friends for the first time he could tell that I was nervous and didn't know what to expect, so he sat me down and opened up Facebook and showed me who all would be there and told me a few things about each of them. Almost 4 years later and he's still like that. He often picks up on my emotions faster than I do and never judges me or blames me, just looks for ways he can support me. I'd had boyfriends before him, but he's the first person I'd ever call my partner. That is one of the best things I've read recently. Thank you for cheering me up during some hard times. This proves that humanity still has some pure souls. How about he's the one? I worked for him. The project was several months and there was no available office space. So they put my workspace in an office across from him. We would chat while code was compiling or other tasks running and found out he had a ton in common. He could make me laugh all day long. When the project was wrapping up, one of the other people in the department said it will be strange for you not to spend so much time with him. Won't it to my horror, I burst into tears. I realized in that moment that I had fallen in love and that it would be like chopping off a limb to leave this project. He called and asked me out the first day after. Said he felt the same. Thank god. Together 31 years now. As a teenager, I didn't even realize that there was such thing as compiling code 31 years ago. Can I say my he's the one moment? When he waits for me in a crowd and is scanning everyone and I see him first. When he spots me there is such a look of pure love and excitement. The first time I saw it made me think people search their entire lives for someone to look at them that way. We got engaged last month and get hitched next week. D. I was pretty poor at the time. Like I had enough to keep my house and bills. But food? Nope. I would go fishing every morning at dawn and catch my food for the day. No fish? No food. My now wife was living in a different state than me and when she found out what was going on she bought $100 worth of groceries and had them delivered to my house. It was an amazing surprise. The best way to a man's heart is still through his stomach. Had been dating my now husband for a month or two. We were like 24. We had stayed up late drinking and talking politics. Woke up in the morning and we snuggled in bed and read the newspaper together. I clearly remember that moment and thinking, this is what I want to do every morning for the rest of my life. 15 years later, he's reading the physical newspaper and I just finished reading the paper online and our two kids and playing sweetly, for the time being, on the floor. It's more perfect now than I'd have ever imagined. This is so sweet. We were dating and I sneezed twice in a row. She said that's weird. You usually sneeze three times. She noticed how many times I usually sneeze. We've been married for 11 years. Why oh 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 oh. My roommate did this to me and it has freaked me out since. Little backstory. I was recently divorced after an ugly and loveless marriage. I was living on my own and had almost 100% custody of my son. He would only go to his mom's during the day and every other weekend. I started talking to this girl I knew from college and we began to see other often. We began to develop feelings and soon started dating but I was always hesitant to introduce her to my son as he was just 3 at the time. Eventually she met him and they bonded immediately. The moment I knew this woman was going to be the one I married is when I came downstairs from the bathroom once and they were just sitting on the floor playing with his cars. It was a natural thing and all the insecurities I felt about being a single father melted away. Now your son found his real mom not by biology but by heart. First time I went to a karate class as a kid, little girl ran over and grabbed me, told people I wasn't allowed to be partners with anyone else. Girl was right, been together more than 20 years now, and she still gets all sulky and goes into hamster mode when I purposefully pretend to ignore her, wouldn't trade her clingy moody self for all the coffee in Asahikawa. That last sentence is suspiciously specific. I have so many, but the one that sticks out was from about 7 months in. I went to meet his family, and the second day there my sciatica flared up something awful. I could not walk without excruciating pain, but I still wanted us to do some tourism. 
He pushed me around in a wheelchair when it got too painful for me to walk with crutches. But the actual moment was when we were sleeping. I woke up in the middle of the night and realized at some point, he had started holding my hand. I realized in that moment that he was the only person I wanted to wake up next to for the rest of my life. Super sappy. Happy to say that we are getting married next summer and I cannot wait. Yay. This is a he's the one for me and I realized it before we were even dating. We were just work friends and we were texting one day when I mentioned that the red and orange sour patch kids were my favorite but there were no bags with just those two. Well, the next day at work he surprised me with a bag of red and orange sour patch kids. That same week I mentioned that I was surprised by my period but I was stuck at work all day and he offered to go buy whatever I needed. We got married on our 6 year anniversary last week and I couldn't have picked a better partner to spend my life with. No man buys feminine hygiene products unless he's in it for real. You might still have been friends at that point but I'd bet he already had his she's the one moment before then. When we were in high school. The bus didn't go to where I live so I had to wait at the school until my mom finished work and then get driven home. Instead of going home on the bus, he would use that time to hang out with me after school, and then would walk all the way home, even in snowstorms, just because he wanted to spend an extra 10 or 20 minutes with me. OMG cute. So when we were dating, I went to her place and we were playing Katamari on her brother's PS2. I strolled over to the corner to see what other games he had, and noticed an N64. I immediately asked if her brother would mind if we played his N64 too, and she responded, Are you kidding? That's mine. She still kicks my butt at Mario Kart. Aha. Uh -huh. It's great having partners that love video games. Mine gets super mad when I win, but she's super cute when angry. I have to let her win sometimes so she can have her moment before I destroy with another win streak. Shortly after we met she invited me over to her apartment. I came by and we talked from about 9pm till 1am. It was the most fun I'd ever had without actually doing anything. We were at Dave and Buster's and got plenty of tickets, enough to buy this pillow in the shape of Sonic the Hedgehog. She looks at me and goes are we freaking on the Sonic pillow? I hope you responded something stupid like don't be mad if I come too fast. She drunkenly fell over trying to walk up the front steps, smashed my friend's 40 ounce in his hand slicing through his palm. Her head landed safely on my lap without even realizing what happened she says hey nice to meet you that was 5 years ago on Halloween we've been inseparable ever since. My friend needed some stitches, I fell in love so I guess we will never forget the night we met her. When he showed up to my family's place in the middle of the night, and told me, you can't stay here one more night, and I won't let you, you're coming with me. For clarification, my mother is a malignant narcissist who has abused me and my sisters for years. My boyfriend saw this, and decided enough was enough. We packed what essentials I could on short notice, and left. No one else has ever taken that initiative for me, not my dad, not my ex and certainly not my family. I knew in that moment that he cared about me, and wanted me to be safe. I'd never felt that before. We started dating when Skyrim was about 3 months away from coming out for the Xbox 360. I had mentioned in passing that I'd really like that game and she ended up getting it for me, and she got me a bunch of snacks and told me to go play it on the big TV in the living room. We have been married for more than 6 years now. Whoa. Your girl likes to gamble. It was a day after we met. Nothing had happened between us yet and we were at a friend's place. A typical stoner evening. Mid conversation he interrupted me and just said he was feeling cuddly and I sort of half jokingly embraced him. A few seconds later there was an audible oh from both of us as we realized how right it felt. We spent the next 8 hours in a tightly knit embrace and holding hands. Didn't even kiss. It seems ridiculous to even think that we both knew it right then and there but as time goes on I can't deny that we were right about each other. That's stupid adorable and I love it. First date I already felt like she's the one when she asked if we can go on a bicycle tour. Then we rode 40 miles and afterwards talked for 11 hours straight till both our throats were sore. She gave up the things that were familiar for the unknown and did it with the sweetest smile. I made the decision to sell most of my belongings and pack what I could in my car and drive to the east coast, far far from home. I said to her, 
I'm leaving and if you'd want to come with me you can. She did. We've been married for two years now and I can't see myself driving across the country with anyone else. Came up and said. This might sound weird, and there is no reason for me to know this, but that mixed berry yogurt you're about to eat has expired. Okay, Jim. This question has always been hard for me to answer. My fiancé actually asked me this before and I remember puzzling her at first when she did. I told her that there was never just one moment for me. That there's been plenty of moments that have always let me know she was the one. From our first kiss, to receiving homemade cards and other gifts from her, holding hands and wandering aimlessly around or staying in all day and doing nothing together, and even just looking into her eyes and seeing the love she holds for me and how no other love I've felt before will compare, the way she gives me butterflies in my stomach every time she comes around, her laugh, her smile, and how she always knows how to make me laugh and smile, even on the shittiest of days, she's my best friend. And why would I want to spend the rest of my life with anyone else? I never had that one moment with her. And I know it sounds kinda cheesy corny, but it's true. She shows me how much she loves me, admires me, and cares about me every day we're together. For your information, if you're referring to a woman, it's Fianke. Former card shop employee that watched many people buy their Fiancés the wrong card for Valentine's and Christmas. He refused to let the last bus before midnight on New Year's Eve leave without me to go up the mountain in a ski resort. I come running and panting round the corner and see him holding the doors open, even though the driver is shouting at him. I just felt that this was it, crazy. When I farted and my girlfriend said nice and threw up her hand to high five me, I knew right away, I was hooked, man. When I first farted, she laughed her butt off and let a big one rip. We have many contests to see who can do it louder. Either way, mine still make her die inside so I win over her most times aha. My he's the one moment. We started out long distance, and I just felt so connected to him that I visited him after less than 3 months together. I'm in the US and I flew down to Colombia without speaking Spanish. I knew he was the one when our online chemistry paled in comparison to our viral chemistry, which I didn't think was possible. I figured that out within 12 hours of landing, and then he showed me how much he loved me every single day when I was down there, and has continued to do so when we're apart. The distance is hard as frick but I love him more than anyone else in the world and he's the man I want to spend my life with. Never really had one. Met her. Thought she was cute. Asked her out. Dated a couple months. Started thinking I was falling in love. Told her. She was feeling the same way. Engaged after a year or so. Married a year or so later. 20 plus years ago. Some high highs and low lows. She'll always be the one. We had been dating for 3 months. We lived about an hour and a half apart and I went to see her for New Year's Eve. We went to somebody's party where she introduced me as her girlfriend. So fast forward a few hours, I'm getting ready to go home. She had to be at work at 8am, but she insisted that I call her once I got on the highway. Now I had noticed that when I started my 99 Accord, the engine turned over very slowly but I attributed it to how cold it was. 19 degrees Fahrenheit. It's South Mississippi so that's beyond freezing for us. I got about 20 minutes down the road and all my gauges on the dash are wonky. My gas gauge was on E, even though it was full when I left. Thermostat was high, speedometer wasn't even moving. So I called my girlfriend and I told her what was happening. I told her I was fine and would just keep going. Then I noticed the heat was blowing freezing air. So we stayed on the phone, I was still driving, silently freaking out. Then the car cut off. I coasted to the side of the road and started to cry. I was an hour from her house and 30 minutes from my own. It was about 3am at this point. My GF didn't have her own car then. She drive her her sisters. She told me to turn on my emergency lights. And get my extra jacked out of the trunk and put it on. She stayed on the phone with me till she got there. It took her 30 minutes to get to me. Drove me home with the heat blasting. I felt like I was frozen. Drove all the way back to her house. And went to work a couple of hours later. We've been inseparable since. Turns out he wasn't the one. But he was. I saw him in French class my first year of college. That was all it took. 
I didn't take the empty desk next to him because I didn't want to be weird. The classroom wasn't full yet, so I left one desk of space in between. We did speaking assignments together in class when we were partnered up and one day we were paired up with a third person as well on an assignment we needed to do as a group outside of class. To make connecting easier, we all exchanged phone numbers. That's how I got his number. The rest is history. First year of high school. I'm still getting my bearings and don't even know who I am as a person yet. See a guy walking down the hallway and I turn to my friend and say who is that knew he was the one right that minute. Never acted on it, because I lacked the confidence. 8 years later, I've largely forgotten about it. Happy being single because I actually like myself. Walk into one of my college classes. And he's there. I sit down in a seat right in front of him and think yeah, I'm gonna make sure you like what you have to look at every day this term. Married him about 2 years later. In college, we decided to share a bottle of Bacardi I-151 between us trying to make Pina Colladas. They were absolutely awful, but by the time we finished one drink each, we began pulling straight from the bottle. When I took the last swig of the bottle I knew we fricked up. I headed straight to the bathroom preparing myself for the upchuck. She followed right after. I wanted to let her use the toilet to throw up, and the only logical place for me to throw up was of course my bathtub. A whole day's worth of food and poorly made Pina Colladas was resting in the tub clogging it up and reeking up the whole room. She knew we couldn't leave my throw up in the tub, and began scooping it with her bare hands from the tub to the toilet. Reddit men, get you a woman who will scoop your puke for you. Oh my god this is simultaneously awful, hilarious, and adorable at the same time. I am lost in AC of emotion. When she helped me come out of the horrible I can do a complete 180 mudwise in an instant, and do so at the drop of a hat depression I'd been in for 8 months prior due to the last girl I was with up and freaking ghosting me. I finally realized how it actually made me feel, enraged at her freaking cowardice, and it just kind of, washed the pain away. Looking back. I think that really was the moment I started having feelings for her. Got to return the favor when her boyfriend at the time broke up with her and, not a month later, shacked up with the girl who totally wasn't his side hustle. Now, we are married and have a house together that we're slowly, but surely, filling out with awesome stuff. I love her with every fiber of my being and I'd give my life for her without hesitation. There have been several moments that have been like that but there is one that always sticks out to me. It was when I realized that I didn't feel like myself or that something was missing when I was without her. She's the only one that I could truly be myself around so being without her felt like I was missing a piece of myself. I miss her as soon as she leaves my side, even if it is only for a couple minutes. We just recently got engaged. We were making dinner together. Fully homemade spaghetti with garlic bread. He bought goofy stick on mustaches and we used bad Italian accents all night while we cooked. We laughed so much, and for some reason as I watched him but to the bread, I couldn't help but smile and feel that zing in my heart. Man, I love him. You zinged. I knew he was the one when on our second date and the day he asked me to be his GF. We were driving somewhere and we were singing to Backstreet Boys loudly in the car. Never felt so comfortable with someone. I had a few of them. As a man, I was able to cry on her shoulder and let out my feelings. She didn't judge and she was always there. That's how I knew. But this is how my mom knew she was the one. One time, my wife, then girlfriend, came over to cook dinner. My mom was apprehensive. Asian family. But as soon as she ate her cooking, she was like okay. She'll take good care of my son. I don't have to worry. The first was when we were kissing and I opened an eye to peek and saw both her eyes open staring back at me. So I opened both my eyes to stare at her, still kissing the whole time. And we just stared, trying to be as creepy as possible until we both broke out laughing. That's when I knew I found someone I could be my weird self with. I opened the trunk, cut off all the zip ties and the blindfold, and said you're free. She chose to stay. That was 34 years ago and we're still going strong. Although she's still not a big fan of my hobby. Ah holop. There's a million of them. But one that sticks out is that he and my ex get along. My ex and I dated for a couple years. Realized that was a terrible idea. And went back to being friends. 
Every other partner I had had varying degrees of hostility towards him. Most were just a normal level of uncomfortable with me hanging out with an ex, which I'm always happy to compromise on. My last ex tried to straight up stop me from ever seeing him again, which was par for the course for his abusive butt. I took my husband, then boyfriend, to meet all my friends, and since I was back in my hometown for the first time in years, I wanted to see said ex. Boyfriend was tentatively cool with it, expressed his discomfort but understanding of the situation. We hung out with him and had a pretty good time. The next day, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do that evening, and boyfriend asked do you want to see what X is doing turns out. He was the only friend I had that respected said boyfriend. The rest of my friends had half taken the abusive X's side, and he appreciated that and wanted to hang out again, knowing they got along. And not just because I wanted them to, but because he was a genuinely nondulous, non-possessive person who understood the friendship I had with said ex, was really enlightening. Keep your friends close but enemies closer s. My he's the one moment with DH was fairly early on in our relationship when he was describing his vision of the family life he wanted, one that he'd daydreamed about since he was quite young. He had a very turbulent borderline abusive upbringing so what I found to be quite boring cliche examples of family life were really appealing to him because he never experienced them as a child. He described this image he'd had in his head of him, wife and kids on a Sunday, he'd have taken the kids to football or whatever their hobby was that morning and now we were all back home, Sunday lunch cooking in the kitchen next door, and all of us piled on the sofa wearing matching Manchester UTD tops. A massive cliche I know but he is a huge fan, nobody's perfect, and watching a football match together on a Sunday afternoon. I had have absolutely zero interest in football at all but he sold me that image so articulately and affectionately that suddenly I just knew that I wanted to be the wife in that imaginary scenario he'd had in his head since he was a boy. Two and a half years later we are married and have a six month old boy together, and yes, they own matching man UTD tops. So many he's the one moments for me to list them all, but the most recent one was this week. We've been together for two years but one, one stroke two of that was long distance. I moved in with him earlier this year and it's been so great. We've been visiting his hometown in the last week and I got to meet his friends for the first time. Whenever he was talking to them, I'd watch him and he'd just stop and look at me with the happiest smile on his face. Then they started telling me stories of how much he'd talk about me to them and how happy he's been since we met. It was just a really lovely time and I feel more close to him than ever. I have had a few moments like that, but here is the most recent. We were in the kitchen getting some manicotti stuffed and she had a spotify playlist on that go loco song came on and the screen has yg dancing around in a kitchen eating tacos i said dang that makes me want tacos my wife says maybe tomorrow tonight we're already having italian she paused for a second and then added if we were in a tv show this would be where the camera pans over to an italian guy bound and gagged in our pantry she knows I find cannibal jokes funny and since I'd been a little depressed lately, it landed well. It's hard to pin down any one moment as the moment but if I had to pick one, we had been seeing each other for about a month or two and we were around my family's house. She was in the living room watching some god awful soap with my mum and my brothers and I were in the kitchen sampling a jar of moonshine my dad had just bought home. The TV program finished and she came to see what we were up to. Apparently she found the male bonding fascinating to observe. She didn't have any male relatives to speak of. My dad offered her a slug of moonshine and we all have a we know what's gonna happen next boys moment. She slammed that shot of ethanol like it was lemonade. We were all suitable impressed and my family have adored her ever since. But for me, that was the moment. I can't say that there was truly ever a specific moment, she broke through a lot of walls I had built up over the years, but I do know that the first time I ever met her I thought to myself, dang, I really shouldn't have started dating that other girl two weeks ago. Six months later we officially started dating, that was in 2014. By the end of October we'll be married and we have a little girl due in January. We were about 18 years old. At that time I stayed with my parents who were overly strict and easily offended over any perceived slights. We didn't have a good relationship, 
One evening while out with my boyfriend, my dad suddenly texted me saying that I was disrespectful by coming home late although I was still within curfew. My dad then said his house is not a hotel, and I should return immediately or not at all. This distressed me but also made me angry because it was uncalled for. It was the latest in a long string of unpleasantness my parents keep creating. In my anger, I decided not to return and flick all consequences. My BF convinced me to go home, that it would be the best decision right now since I'd have no belongings and no place to stay. He comforted me and sent me home even though it meant a 1.5h journey back to his own place on public transport later. I dreaded opening the apartment door for what may come but my dad simply ignored me. My return had taken away my dad's excuse to lash out. After 30 minutes or so, I texted my BF that it's been quiet and I seem to be in the clear. He said, yes I know, I've been waiting outside the door just in case, that's when I know. Through the following years of dating, my BF's love has proven steadfast and strong. We've been married almost 5 years now and I can't think of anyone else I'd spend the rest of my life with. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.